Good day everyone. Uh, today what we are going to cover uh, is a little video on how we can use some tools for loading our data into our commander. Sometimes our commander gets balled up and kind of gets frozen uh, and a lot of I've had a lot of questions before of like I can't get my data into our commander. So I was going to give you some troubleshooting of things that you can do uh, to make sure that your data actually gets in. So let's start off with kind of our most basic way uh, that we use to get our data in. So this is an example of some data that we have in our class. And what we can do here is when we highlight our data, we can click and highlight all the way across. Now this is a handy thing that is I think true in Safari, uh, Chrome, and uh, maybe a few others uh, where you can just highlight straight across and it'll highlight the entire box. I often see people lose a few data points at the very bottom if you try to do instead like highlight and try to drag it all the way down especially if on some of these bigger data sets that can just take you forever. Uh, it's much easier to just click and drag across and we have all of our data. So we'll just go ahead and copy this in and the basic way that we can do this is we can go to data, import data, and when you copy something on the computer, it copies it to your clipboard. So we can just go straight to the clipboard. We can do clipboard uh, tabs and we can go ahead and click OK. And we can click on view data set and we can see that lo and behold, we have got our data set in our commander now. So occasionally, uh, if you're like trying to load in multiple data sets, like you load in another one and another one, eventually like our commander doesn't work too well uh, and you need to know some tools for how to get things working again. So one of the most basic things that you can do is you can always just close out of our commander. So I'm just going to exit out of here. I'm going to click OK. Uh, you don't need to save anything. And then I'm going to come to my R Studio. And I'm going to go to, I believe it is in a oh, session, and we're going to say restart R. So we're just basically rebooting R. Click on restarting our R session. Um, if you're working on a PC, that's all that you'd have to do. If you're working on a Mac like I am right now, uh, we'd need to go over to this X Quartz, and we're just going to quit that X Quartz. And that's all that you have to do. And now that we've kind of done that, we can restart our commander. Uh, there's a couple ways that you can do this. Once again, you can go from packages and just start rcmdr and click on the plugin for teaching the statistical methods. Click that checkbox there. Or how I like to do it, I type library and then just type in rcmdr. And then I click on this plugin.teachstats and you can hit enter and it should pop up your uh, our commander once again. So like if you're ever running into bugs with our commander, that is a good fallback to do where you just uh, basically kind of restart and try again. All right, now let's say that suppose you've done that a couple times and you're still having problems with getting the data in through this file text, uh, this text file clipboard or URL. Like it's just, it's not working. Sometimes unfortunately that happens. Well, there's another way uh, that actually works almost every time. It is extremely rare when I don't see this method uh, work. It's a little bit slower. That's why I kind of like that data and using the clipboard. And this one is where we're just going to paste this data into Excel instead. So let's go ahead and just open up a blank Excel workbook. And then right here, I'm going to just right click. And if I paste right away, it just pastes it into a single line. That does not work problematic. So I'm going to delete that out. And when I paste it into Excel, I need to go to Paste Special. And here I want to paste it as text instead of its default as HTML. So I'll just go ahead and click OK. And now we see that it's in the right um, it's in the right columns. Now, if you notice, you get this little cutoff on this magazines and the amount spent. If you just double click in between the two, it'll automatically size it to be the right size. You can see how my cursor kind of changes size. If I come over here and I double click, it'll resize that. Um, that's not necessary, but it's kind of handy uh, to be able to see. Now, what we need to do is we need to save our Excel book. So I'm just going to go to file. I'm going to save this thing as 
and you just need it someplace handy so I'm gonna put it on desktop and I'm just gonna call this um, I don't know we'll call this upload and I'm gonna save it now that I've saved it I'm gonna just close out of this guy and now from our commander I'm going to go to data import and at the bottom here I can import from an Excel file so I can click from Excel file if I want to rename it I can um, but I'm just going to leave these options the same I want to click OK and now I've got to go through my directories and try to figure out exactly where it's located um, I don't really like how they make them the Mac directories look it's kind of a pain um, the PC ones look a little bit better but I can go here look in my desktop and it should be right there upload and now I can click my view data set and it is right there. So there we have kind of our two main methods that we use uh, in order to get data into our commander. Uh, we can either use just the uh, importing with the clipboard and that works most of the time but occasionally we run into problems with that. When you do run into problems remember you can restart your R commander or just close out of everything and open it up again sometimes that helps out and that'll work and if that still doesn't work you can save the data into an Excel file and then upload into R commander with an Excel file hope that helps out